guys, welcome to another adventure. We're here with my daughter Mila on Loch Marais. We're here for two nights and it's now quarter to 5 p.m. Sunset is in under an hour. Seems to be a rain system moving in. We don't know where we're gonna come. We're yeah. making... We have no idea. We're making quite a big crossing here on the lake. Wind's okay now, but um, we have to be careful obviously making this type of crossing. The plan is to find a campsite, something really nice, but we're not gonna spend too long debating where to camp. Depending on how it goes with the wind tomorrow, we'll strategize accordingly our exit plan for day three. <laughs> All right, so we found a little spot here. We're gonna go check it out. It's already five o'clock. What about this little gap? Because this is right, this would be right out of the wind and we would have water on both sides. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's really nice, huh? Go ahead. There you go. Check the ground over there. Tell me what you think. Yeah. Under drier circumstances, clearly this is a great spot. Somebody built a nice fireplace there as well. And you're in this little spit of land and you've got water. 360 so almost, go, so really we're beautiful. Go check out that little space there. We left the canoe, so yep, let's go. Yeah. Really beautiful spot. Yeah. Looks like somebody's leveled some ground over there. That could be good, but the wind direction is straight this way. And I'm literally freezing. <laughs> There's a little trail here that we'll check out, see if we can find something else. Okay, let's go. Another little cove. Okay, the sand is much better. <sighs> I think this is a nice spot here. It is beautiful. Daddy, right here. He decided not to because my dad's not in love with it. <laughs> so yeah, well, I think it's fine. Yeah, enjoy sleeping in that angle, going like 15 degrees down. You hey, just... Yeah, I've got my throne here. <laughs> you got your throne, huh? Yeah. You found your cool chair, that's awesome. And I saw it with my own eyes. Oh, I decided to put on my gloves because it is literally freezing. Okay, let's go. Yeah. We're going to drag the canoe across instead of paddling around, save some time. Okay, risky business. Risky business yeah, indeed. Yeah, it's raining. Baby. Yeah, it's raining and the winds. And we're running out of light too. Ay, ay, ay. It's just such a bad state right now. <laughs> we can do it. Let's go. Let's cross to the other set of islands and find a nice sheltered place there, okay? That's pretty windy. Okay, making the crossing and we should be sheltered once we turn a corner there. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Mamo, sorry. Sorry, Mamo. It's definitely picking up and the waves are too, so we have to watch the wind tomorrow and uh, strategize accordingly. You see, we're out of the wind now. Nice. Yes. This is so nice here. Look how still the water is. Abby, look how still. This is stunning. Dad, do you hear that? Yeah. The noise of silence. Really sheltered here. Unbelievably sheltered. Look at the water in front of you. This is such a pla a good place for meditation. <laughs> You're right. It is. Is there space enough for a tent over here? I don't think so. It looks like flat, so completely space. flat. If it's dry, it's good. Okay, go. The answer to that is... Nope, nope it's a bug. Too wet. It is 5.35. We are really pushing it here.
take all that stuff out and then I'll flip it later. All right, guys, so 6.20, absolute shenanigans setting up camp. Mila and I were super undecisive on deciding our spot, intending to camp there, but it was really, really wet. Um, so we opted to take the rock instead, which is slanted at an angle. But that's it for today, guys. Uh, we are absolutely gassed, been a long day. It's just starting to rain now as well. So gonna sort out all the gear, cook something, and start tomorrow fresh with energy and explore this absolutely gorgeous place. So we'll see you tomorrow and good night guys. Good morning guys, we had a decent night's sleep um, on the rock, filtering some water and we're gonna pack camp away. So we're expecting quite strong winds for tonight and especially tomorrow morning, which means it's gonna be difficult to get out and make a crossing. So we've decided that we're gonna make that crossing today. All right, 10.15, rain is just starting. We're expecting some heavy rain showers really soon. So packed away camp, getting on the water, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna get on. Good girl. Yeah, the rain's coming big, man. Oh dear. So I hope he's always looking. I agree. Raining quite heavily. Not that heavy. Like it's yes, it's raining. Mm. But it's raining little drops, not mm. gi giant drops. I'm freezing. 
Oh, yeah. What a seed dog. Okay, Daddy. Which path are we going to Straight. Through? All the way straight. Straight? Okay. Yep. Keep paddling. It's going to keep you warm. You got to keep moving. Okay? Don't stop paddling. Hold it, Daddy. Now we're faced with quite a big crossing here. Wind's picking up. Yeah. Strong wind. We're gonna sneak behind that little island. We're gonna have to go for it at some point. This is our chance. We're gonna cross all the way straight. Shortest route across. Ready? Good paddling, Nita. That's my girl. That's the spirit. <laughs> That's a spirit. Intended to camp here for three days, two nights, but the conditions are just not cooperating with us and um, weighing in all the risk reward here, it doesn't make any sense to continue on. The forecast for the wind tomorrow is quite severe, expecting wind gusts over 35 miles an hour early in the morning, so the chances of us getting wind bound, it's not a risk that I'm willing to take with my little one. So the wind conditions are decent enough to make a crossing now so we're gonna take it get back to the car go home and live to fight another day not every trip goes as planned I think the most important thing is that we're leaving here safe and unhappy as Mila says no compromise on safety here and it was a good adventure so see you guys on the next one hey, we're here. land ahoy nice and safe Good trip. Good trip. All right. Now, high I five with your paddle. Give me a high five with your paddle. Good job. <laughs>